all over the place here. Okay, I'm going to answer a question by Amar, who wrote, My only question to you is, if Earth just got out of 3D in the past decade or so, why is it that I personally know of people, family and friends, and have read about others who did things in the past, say, 1900s to 2000, and it actually goes way, way back further than that, thousands and thousands of years. Actually, this is true from the beginning, I think, basically, that involved what people call psychic abilities and near-instant manifestation, such as telekinesis, levitation, instant weather manipulation, ESP, astral projection, and so-called supernatural phenomenon. Are these things not 4D abilities? How would people be able to do them if they and the planet are in mega amnesia and the thick heaviness of 3D? Okay, good question. Although the planet has been in 3D does not mean necessarily that the uh, humans on it have been in 3D. And certainly that is the point. The point has been to get humans to come into human form and to get in amnesia and stay in amnesia. But it doesn't always work. It doesn't always work. Um, and over time, and I mean time, 100 million years ago time, we're talking about time, 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 there have been repeatedly humanoids or human consciousness, God consciousness, come and be in human form and remember who they are. Now, they can remember to, who they are to a great extent, which has led to the Jesuses, uh, Buddha, Krishna, these are entities that came into human form and remembered who they are and then tried to share it with the world. Uh, usually it didn't go too well for them. So most of the time uh, they were uh, totally wasted. They were taken out. Sometimes uh, they twinkled out and people they disappeared in front of people. Uh, one of the Jesuses did that. That was that whole raising and disappearing in front of people story that really did happen with one of the Jesuses um, uh, I believe that happened with Buddha didn't it where he just twinkled away okay uh, yeah they will do that but when you are standing on a planet and the planet is uh, fourth dimension and then third dimension uh, it wasn't in third dimension by the way very long didn't need to. All it did was kind of touch third dimension and go, okay, we did it. I can leave now. Um, yeah, and the, the scenario was set. The template was set when the humans on the planet got to the third dimensional level. Now, oh, how do I explain this? The planet itself she can vibrate, she can handle, she can house, she can provide a playing field for a wide variety of entities. So it's not really that she is going to fifth dimension in as much as the beings on her are vibrating and the beings the human skin suits are a part of her so when I say that she's going to the fifth dimension the planet itself it can be all kinds of vibrations but what she she does care for these skin suits so much so the percentage of people that have come out of the third dimension coaxed encouraged coming out of the third dimension which they created which was the plan and raising their vibrations so as she goes into fifth dimension that their bodies, their skin suits will be in fifth dimensional vibration too because she doesn't want to lose any of the skin suits uh, because they are a part of her. So it's more the humans vibrating high enough that they can join her in the fifth dimension so that the rest of her can go to the fifth dimension, and the rest of her is really uh, the humans. 
So she will keep enough of her vibratory self in vibrating at fourth dimension, encouraging the skin suits to vibrate at fourth dimension, which are a part of her. So when I say all of her is not in fifth dimension, that part of her that is not in fifth dimension are the skin suits and the required part of her that makes the skin suits in the fourth dimension have a place to stand on. That's the part of her. The skin suits that you're in, that's a part of her. So for every human being that's not vibrating in fifth dimension right now, that's a part of her that is not in fifth dimension. Okay? So all of the skin suits vibrate high enough to be in 5D, then all of her is in fifth dimension. Okay? But there is a illusionary time limit on that. Okay? that she'll pull the humans into the fifth dimension. And that is all a part of the game that is set up. All right? But there is a playing field on this. Always there have been on this planet beings that have vibrated on the fifth dimensional wavelength. Always. They've always been here. The question was not whether or not... Um, she vibrates at fifth dimension. She can be a playing field for beings on her that are vibrating at third dimension, fourth dimension, fifth dimension. Uh, really, sixth dimension, from my perspective, is a completely different game. Uh, that's really hard to explain. Easy for you to understand when you get to fifth dimension. But from third, fourth dimension, very difficult to explain. So, we won't get into it, because what's the point? The, I'm not sure why people would explain that, the explain, unexplainable, from this perspective. That's like trying to explain quantum physics to a four-year-old. Uh, what's the point? I can go through the motions, I can explain it, but what's the point? The four-year-old's not going to comprehend it. Well, the prisms might. <laughs> they might be able to teach me a thing or two on how to explain it. But back to the point again. So... The playing field has been set here so that the earth itself can handle and can allow for fifth dimensional, fourth dimensional, third dimensional creatures to stand on it. Okay? So when I say Gaia is going to the fifth dimension and more higher and higher percentage of Gaia is in the fifth dimension, I'm really talking about the skin suits. And a higher and higher percentage of human beings are vibrating on a level that is very high 4D and 5 and fifth dimensional, headed towards fifth dimensional. These are mostly younger people, really, really young people. And when I say over the last, uh, since 2012, it's because the PRISM children were born here. And they are born in the fourth dimension initially whenever they're first born and very capable at a breath, a split second of vibrating in the fifth dimensional um, uh, uh, framework type thing. But always there's been the ability for any human to vibrate at the fourth and the fifth dimension. Always. Anybody can. Anybody can. Now, if you're heading that way quite frequently, most human beings have split second moments when they have, even in the third dimension, vibrated on the fourth and the fifth dimensional level. They just didn't realize it. And they don't stay. Because the systems are set into place that will kick you out of it and get you back to third, third dimension, because that was the game. The whole game is to keep you in third dimension. So if you raise too high, something will, will go into place. Some You'll go to work, and it'll kick you out of it. They'll tell you you weren't good enough. Um, you'll go to school, and you're not good enough. You'll hear a, a commercial and see what perfect people look like, and it'll knock you right out of it those higher vibrations, all of those systems are put into place 
so that it will knock you down in vibration so that you can play the game. That's the whole point. It's about the game. But there have always been beings that the system did not work. Um, there are... Who was it that sent me? Was it Krista? Who who was it? Somebody sent me a video of a a tribe that they found recently. Uh, I think it was in South America. Do. That were. Oh, do not. Very. There is no tribe. 